and getting out and somebody hurting him. Mm -hmm. Because let's face it, I mean, he thinks he can just, like, I've had him out. I have him swimming in the pond. I've had him in the yard. You he have? in the house. Swimming. The first two years. Swimming years in the now. pond. So he's used to, he'll go in the house, and those other mounts and stuff doesn't bother him. He don't even think of himself as a bear, I'm sure. You know, he don't know. But, uh, Hi. So he'll go right into your house. Hi, buddy. If he walked to some neighbor's house. Hi, and buddy. The door, he'd walk right in. Walk right Hi, in. buddy. Here I am. Here. You know, oh, what my God. Okay, that's like that. Yeah. And some person that didn't know him, sure. they'd probably shoot him. And, oh, yeah. You know, as much as I'd hate it, Come on. I couldn't blame him. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, a guy, she's a big buddy. bear. And Come here, buddy. You think of a bear as being Come a here, vicious buddy. animal Hi. or something, and they're not. Right. He's like, you don't have pepper. Not him. I don't want right. to go over here. You but the nearest minutes. black bears to us in the wild would be down in West Virginia, or is there well, something in Texas? Eastern Ohio now. Oh, Eastern Ohio? They've, they've mm -hmm. said there was probably, you know, I think at least close to 50 bears in Ohio now living from the wild. Wow. Wow. The nearest wow. they've been this way, this far over this way is Caesar Creek area. You know, there's oh been one sighted over there several times in the Caesar Creek area. Wow, I would never Waynesville, imagine Waynesville, right at this side of Caesar Creek, wow. in the Little Miami River. Mm -hmm. People have seen them on wow. the Little Miami. There. I kind of imagine like maybe over near Meigs County, way far east over there, maybe, but not that close. Yeah, wow. they start branching out, you know, because they'll, they'll adapt around humans more so than like grizzly bears won't. Uh -huh. They don't want to be around humans at all. Sure. Unless they're having them for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to a conservation officer at one of my Civil War reenactments, and he said, do you know there's more trees in Ohio today than there was back during the Civil War? And I was like, no way. And he said, what you're not thinking of is subdivisions. A subdivision moves into what used to be a cornfield. Mm -hmm. Now look at a subdivision, and, I, and it makes sense to me. If I look at my subdivision, there's all the trees are little saplings. But if you look at two streets over where the houses were built in the 40s and the 50s, yeah. there's trees huge. So if you look from satellite, it does. You can't even see a lot of the house tops because the trees are so the foot, which in the 1860s would have all been farmland. And I Hi, buddy. And he just put it that way. He said, yeah, you're thinking of streets and Hi, buildings. Buddy. But think of all the acreage that used to be farmlands that is now all subdivisions. Right. Right. And they all, everybody puts a couple trees you know, in your yard. I grew up as kids, and I've seen a lot of woods being cut down to be big farms. But that, that era is Look gone. It, the big, you know, and the little farms Hi. and all that's gone. Oh you got a few it's big farms awesome. in there, but, but there's not near as many farms as there used to be. He is not going to go in there. Oh. Is he gonna go get on that? You're getting this picture, aren't you? Yep. Cool. That is like cool. The, basketball is, but I like to that would be awesome. That would be crazy. <laughs> that would be crazy. <laughs> Hi, where's your She's basketball? Right around this thing. Does he go by any commands? Is there anything that you can tell him? Or like you said, he that listens there. to me and he knows what no means and. Ah, if I say that <laughs> down, like somebody in there and he's wanting to play with him because he'll stand up and he'll like come on, come on, wrestle, you know, he'll circle you and do that. And then they're like, I don't want to wrestle with him, you know. Yeah. I'll say, ah, buddy, no, leave him alone. He don't want to do that. He'll like, oh, and he knows. And he'll go to somebody else and pick at them, you know. Like, come on, let's let's do it. Yeah. Because uh, like I say, Josh used to take half, half the wrestling squad in there and He'd wear them boys out. He, he never gets tired. <laughs> yeah. You know? So it's probably a treat for him to have visitors, too. Just yeah, to he likes the visitors. monotony of the boredom. And yeah, people are like, oh, you know, you probably don't want, you know, people coming out. Or you get tired of people asking them to come out. I said, not really, because he enjoys it. Yeah. I like him to see people and be around people. Right. But like I say, that's my fear if he ever got loose. He, he thinks everybody's got candy for him and everybody's <laughs> his friend. Right. Oh, yeah. Because people come here, treat him good. Right. Yeah. Yeah. He got loose one time. Well, you know when that hurricane came all the way up here. Uh-huh. Had a tree fall on his fence back there and took it down. I didn't know it. And then the power's but I, out. And the power's out. Now, it, that is battery backup, which will last several days on the electric, but it didn't matter because the tree took everything down. Oh, okay. But you couldn't get in and out of our driveway. We had trees down all down through there. You couldn't get in So I was down there with my neighbor cutting trees to clear them out of the driveway and rolling them out of the way. and. Uh -huh. And Jason, who's that first house, yeah. uh, he'd never seen the bear. His wife, Jesse, and two little girls had been up here and fed him candy and think he's great, you know. 
And, uh, but Jason had never seen him. And we're down there cutting trees, and I got my back facing down the lane. Jason's facing towards me, and he's cutting one side of this tree and big branches off that I'm cutting. And Jason, he, I look up, and he's just froze. And he's standing there like that with his chains on his head. And I'm like, oh, on him, you know? And I shut my saw off. And my dog goes out. And he shuts his saw off. And he's standing, he goes, I hope that's your bear standing behind you because there's a big bear standing behind you. <laughs> and I turn around about the mirror of that pole there. His buddy, and he's standing up and he's looking like, because he's scared of a chainsaw. Sure. And, uh, and he's looking at me like, hmm, what's going on, you know? <laughs> and I turn around and I see him and, of course, we've got the saws off now, and I set my saw down, and I walked towards him. I said, buddy, I said, uh, I said, what are you doing out? I said, you must have a tree down on your fence, too, huh? <laughs> and he come walking up to me just like a dog, you know, I'm petting him. And I told Jason, I said, well, you ain't never seen Met Buddy, have you? He goes, no. He said, my wife, you know, Jesse's told me about him, and the kids, they think he's just fantastic. Mm -hmm. I said, well, here, come over here and meet him. And he was a little reluctant at first, because there ain't no fence between us. We're out there right <laughs> in the driveway, you know. <laughs> But he comes over there down. and Buddy's sitting there, like oh. a dog sitting beside me, and I'm rubbing his head, and Jason pets him, and, and you know, they're like, he goes, wow, he's mean. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, I'd have never thought he would have been like that. I said, well, let me take him back up, and I can shut the door out of that stall there mm -hmm. and lock him into it, and that's what I did till I got done down there, and I come up here and fix that. cut, the, fix the, yeah. fence, cut the tree off and all <laughs> that. And, uh, yeah, but Jason, when I came back down, he goes, that's amazing. He said, my dog won't listen to me for nothing, but he <laughs> followed you just like a dog on heel right beside you and walked and waddled back up the lane yep. just right beside you. Yeah. You said, come on, buddy, let's go back to the house, and he followed you right back up wow, the lane. Wow, that's neat. Didn't have that's to have a, a lease on him or no. nothing. That's so you don't, I'm supposed to keep a collar on him with my name tag and address. In case he gets number. out, you'll still know. But they'll kind of know. And that Where? game warden <laughs> told me, you know, uh, Aaron, he said, you really ought to keep a collar on him. I got it hanging there by the door. I don't I know if you know it's a big yeah. yellow, heavy cattle collar yeah. like they used for showing cattle 4-H. Yeah. But he hates it. He hates wearing it. Uh -huh. And it does rub his hair off. And sure. It'd be uncomfortable. you got to have it really tight for him to keep it because their head and neck are almost the same time. Oh, yeah. So if you got to have it choking. That is the cutest head, thing. Just reach up at his toes. Pull it right off his head. He's oh, in the little oh, pool. Holding up again. It's I the really thing. I, could, I thought maybe a chain, <laughs> but even that, Hi, buddy. You know, I don't know how comfortable that'd be for him with the pack hanging on a chain. But, right. So I don't keep it on him like I should. I'm not too worried that if he got loose, he doesn't have that on him. Because he said, yeah, you need to keep it on him. He's got his own little swimming pool. He get off. He'll get off. You know, around here, they ought to know that anyway. Right? around this area, I don't know of any wild bears. <laughs> he'll stick his whole head. Sometimes he'll be totally underwater. And you'll see bubbles coming up. Next thing you know, he'll pop back up out of the water. <laughs> he loves the water. But he can't swim a lick. Veronica can swim. I used to take her to Smith Park and let her swim. Oh, my goodness. People would freak out. And she'd swim out and swim right back to me. She could swim like a, you know, good golden retriever. Wow. You know, but I took him down here. The first time I ever took him down here, he about drowned me and him both. <laughs> oh, yeah, because he's used to that thing. It's not over his head. And he just waded right out, and I was out in the water, treading Ooh. water out at the end of the dock. And Josh brought him over there, and he waded right out and just waded right out over his head and just sunk. <laughs> you, know? you had to run out and save him. And I had I swam up to him and tried to get him up, and he was like, "Look at him, he's just laying in it." Like that, you know, Are you getting any pictures of it too? I'm getting some video water, right now, like but I can't get you know? pictures at the same and, uh, time. And it did. That's Look about at drowning him. Him both. And I thought, "Man, you're gonna drown us both." And once I got him back up on the bank, he sat down and he sat like it's a kid on the shoreline, patted in the water and played in the water, but he didn't get back out there. Mm -hmm. It was like. Oh. That's over my head. <laughs> it was like, like some little kid. I'll just sit up here and play at the edge of the water. Sounds like, uh, as far as animals go, he's pretty. Uh, bears are a smart intellect. They yeah. have, they're, they're not uh, very dumb animals. No. No, not at all. You know, they got a pretty big brain. They don't have no little peanut brain like, you know, some animals. Mm -hmm. they, got, they got a pretty good sized brain in their skull. They got a big canine. They're like a canine type animal. 
So when you go off to work, you're leaving early. I mean, does he, you got to come over and pet him before you leave, or you got to. I go in there a lot of times. I see him. We, no, you know, his ears are up. We always spend uh, time, you know, every day, me or Josh Juan, sure. spend time with him and see him and visit him. And, and you know, I'm always, all the time, putting stuff in there for him. He's playing. Is he just playing? He's looking for his ball, maybe. He's like, where's no, my ball? It. It's. <laughs> it's been a while since I've seen him do that. He's it's not in there. Time. And he hadn't been in it much this year because it's really been cool and he hadn't been, been cool. in yeah. it. I think he's just putting on a show I for us. If he's even got it or if it's flat, if you flatten it. Flatten it, put it in. I never really it. thought about it until we started talking about it. I'm going to have to get him a new basketball. Yeah. That's probably something I'll be bringing home tomorrow. Toss over there into <laughs> it. Let it be floating in there. He'll find it. He'll. I'm sure he ain't forgot how to play, you know. Has the goat ever fallen off? No, it jumps off. <laughs> oh, it jumps they, all the way from way up there? Oh, yeah. Betty did, too. They, wow. You know, goats are real springy. They jump. They don't think nothing's jumping off that. Wow. They go, bing, they jump way up in the air for them. They don't, like, just try to go off there. I've seen them jump four or five feet in the air and jump off there. Wow. And land just like they're on springs. But the goat doesn't go by any command. No. <laughs> it's a dumb animal. Yeah, she doesn't know <laughs> Betty, I mean, she, I got some good pictures of him and Betty sitting side by side, you know, while I was feeding them candy. You know, just like two dogs <laughs> sitting there, mm -hmm. you know. And, and when you put the candy out there, they'd both be trying to get it, you know. Sure. And, and, and it's funny how he would do, because he would always try to push Betty back. Like, hey, can't handle candy. Bye bye, bye bye. Okay, thank you so much. Bye bye, bye. He'll come back again. He's, he made her day. Yeah.